On May 30th, hundreds of Occupy Wall Street protesters held a casseroles night, marching through the streets of Manhattan, banging pots and pans to show solidarity with the ongoing Quebec student uprising against tuition hikes. My name is Manissa McLeave Maharabal, and I'm an activist and a graduate student at the Cooney Graduate Center. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Zoltan Gluck. I'm also a student activist and a PhD student at the Cooney Grad Center. So we just got back from Montreal, where we were uh, going on these uh, nightly marches with the student activists up there. Up until about a week and a half ago, uh, the marches were predominantly themed around um, the tuition hikes. Uh, and the student strike that's been going on for the past, um, I guess, 110 days now. The Chavez government recently enacted a law, special law, Law 78, which um, basically makes it illegal to have any type of gathering of people, more than, more than 50 people, uh, or any type of uh, march or demonstration that's not previously announced to the police. Like the, that really spurned the, the movement, and, and it spread like far beyond the just the sector of the students, and so a lot of people have been joining in. What's amazing about the nightly marches is they start in neighborhoods, so you have whole neighborhoods just sort of gathering at a main intersection with their pots and pans, and sort of slowly marching around the intersection, banging their pots and pans, to sort of say like, okay, look, we're not actually, we're just crossing the street, we're not actually protesting, and then as they sort of reach a critical mass, taking over the intersection, and it's like, it's little kids, it's students, it's old people, it's families, and when we were there, the energy was just amazing. If they succeed in repressing a student movement that has hundreds of thousands of supporters up there, then uh, I think then the same types of tactics can be applied against whatever happens here. So I mean, in that sense, it's really it's really important I think for us to be to be expressing solidarity, but also taking uh, taking seriously what's happening there and what types of tactics they're using. I mean, more broadly, I think what, it, what as Minister said, what's been amazing is how that movement has spread beyond just the sector of students. And I think at Occupy at its best was also uh, exemplified that. It was um, a place where lots of different types of plights, lots of different grievances, found a united voice behind the concept of the 99%, uh, seeing a universal enemy in Wall Street in the financial sector. Wherever you are, take your pots and pans, go out and stand on a street corner and try and get all of your friends and uh, express solidarity with, uh, with Quebec student movement and student movements all over the world. Being your pots and pans is actually really fun. Reporting for Waging Nonviolence, this is Jessel Noor in New York.